my goodness, I am so excited. We're launching a brand new one day special with Matthew Palmer and I get to paint later as well, I cannot wait. Of course, we've got brand new today's and of course we've got Matthew here himself. So let's say a very good evening to Matthew. Hello, how are we Hi, doing Matthew. everybody? Hi Matthew, yeah, how are you it, doing? It, I'm fine, the sun's shining. It certainly is, want? exactly, exactly. Well, maybe you've been outside in the sunshine and you've come back in to watch this. So don't move a muscle because we have got, as I say, the brand new launch of a one day special. This is a bit of an exclusive for us as well. Let's have a look because we've got a brand new DVD. It is exclusive. It's so exclusive. I'm just going to show you actually. We've only got the case at the moment. You will, I promise you will get yours, but this is how exclusive it is. And we do have a clip that we can show you as well. I've got to say, Matthew, as soon as I saw this straight away, I am drawn to the greens and the purples. We've got, of course, the bluebells and the woodlands here. Yeah, so um, when we was working on this, you know, late winter, early spring show, I, for me, it had to be about colours, vibrant colours, new growth, and bluebells just absolutely speak that, without a doubt, one of my favourite subjects, love bluebells, and this is almost two hours worth of bluebells and woodlands, a complete picture, it's the picture at the side of you actually. Amazing, yes, we do have the picture right here as well, we will, we'll show you that in a second, it's absolutely gorgeous, this is what you will be creating when you follow along that DVD of course, but that's not it, of course you're going to get the materials in there as well, so you are getting the watercolour paper, five sheets of that and it's got Matthew's own name on it, look, you know it's quality, and of course you're getting some brushes in there as well there's two brushes and you get some paints now let me just show you these paints I'm just going to lean forward a little bit there we are we've seen this before with Matthew haven't we using the minimal amount of paints the different colors but what you actually achieve is when you look at the picture at the side of me you actually see that it looks as though you've used I don't know another six other colors at least in there Matthew yeah so we've kind of mixed these and that's a perfect shot because you can see the colours are made for this picture. So it just works perfect. You've got that beautiful, intense violet, beautiful for bluebells, also good for, uh, you know, nighttime skies, um, evening skies, great for winter scenes as well, great for lilac, great for lavender, beautiful colour, perfect for bluebells, okay? Absolutely stunning. And then we've got that gorgeous sepia as well. We have, we have stunning. indeed. Now tell me about the brushes that are involved here then, Matthew, because you get two brushes in the set. Yes, um, so we've got the uh, large Matthew Palmer Tree and Texture Brush, which is a good old faithful brush. It's a brush that will last you for many, many years. The, the harder you abuse the brush, the better it works. It's designed for you to stipple and get those beautiful individual leaves or flowers. So woodlands, flowers, beautiful brush. Um, it's a brush I designed and it's probably one of our most popular brushes, so a very, very nice popular uh, brush that just goes alongside anybody's watercolour kit. And then next door to that, we've got the beautiful uh, SAA. Um, it's an imitation sable oh. rigger brush, which means it's completely ethics-free, let's yeah. say. It's designed to replicate probably the most expensive hair that's out there, which is sable hair, of course. Now, this is not, this is all synthetic, but it's, it's a brush that the SAA are, are very proud to bring to market. First time we've seen this. Amazing. As I say, it's exclusive to us here at Achanda as well. It is so new. As I say, we've not even got that DVD yet. Thirty-seven ninety-nine, and you've got a great saving here. The saving is twenty-seven pounds and thirty-two pence. All you need is an item number four zero zero three zero zero. Now we do have more for you as well. In fact, as we move down the counter, the next bundle. These were actually last time they were on. They actually sold out. The fantastic techniques. Now you can see it's a play on words there. The fantastic because you've got the fan brushes. Tell us again Matthew about these for anyone that hasn't seen them before yeah so these were the fantastics which is my latest brush in the line really and again as you mentioned in January we brought these as a one-day special sold out very quickly so we've got them back with the same DVD that we had for that one-day special so you've got your three your three new fantastic brushes which is good for flowing water good for trees any kind of texture effects and a full instructional DVD to go alongside as well. Amazing, and a great price again. You're saving eight pounds and six pence, just 31.99. Item number is 915573. Now we've got a masking fluid bundle for you next. So let's have a look at the details for this one. A lot in this kit, Matthew. Do you want to tell us about this? It is, yeah, this is great value. So we're giving you quite a few 
nice quirky core projects here. First of all, masking fluid. It's an essential in this, this modern world for painting. Basically, it's a coloured liquid latex which allows you to protect the areas of pictures, keep them clean, keep them white, because in watercolour, white is the paper, so that is masking away. You simply remove it with your finger afterwards and it keeps it crisp. What's clever about this one is it's coloured, so literally you can see where you stick it, but we're also going to give you three brushes as well, which are the special SAA uh, masking fluid brushes. It's a bristle that's designed to have less chance of being destroyed by that latex, because you don't want to be using fancy brushes like in the one day special with masking fluid because it will simply stick to the bristle. This is polyester, it's designed for this. And you get a set of three of those as well as the big bottle of masking fluid. We're also going to give you uh, something what's really interesting, the Schmincke Aqua Modeling Paste. i been practicing <laughs> that one all That's day. Now one. what that is, that is like a primer. It's like a primer for your painting. So you put it on. You let it dry and you can paint over it with watercolours. You can also put it on like wood and things like that as well. It's about making your paintings three-dimensional, which is Amazing. really nice. Ooh. And there's also some interesting, uh, a palette knife, which is always popular when bring them in, because yep. palette knife scraping off the colour. Love the little kit there for 19 99 and every one of the palette knives that, have, that we've got here are a different shape as well. We've seen you use the palette knives so many yeah. times, Matthew, with your mm. pictures scraping away there. What a difference it makes. What a great kit that is. A great saving, a great price all around. Five pounds and five, five, sorry, five pounds and fifty-eight pence is the saving on this one. Nineteen ninety-nine is the price. Three four one eight seven nine. Don't miss out on that. I think you'll find that very, very useful. Now, of course, we also have a pick and mix for you as well. So maybe you've been collecting the colours, maybe you're missing one or two. This is your opportunity to go for some more of those beautiful watercolour paints. These are Matthew's own colours, of course. Three pounds saving here. It's a pick and mix of any three. Sixteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. Item number six seven nine nine six seven. Is there anything in particular, Matthew, you'd like to point out about the colours here that we've got to choose from? Yeah. So here we've got. Um the natural colours, which are designed for replicating nature. So you've got the likes of natural grey, uh, you've got natural greens, you've got both the greens in there, beautiful for, um, you know, creating, replicating nature. You've got the skin tones. And if you look at these, these are the new versions of the colour. These are the 2021 versions as oh, well. Nice. So you've got turquoise for the sea, the greens for the trees. Beautiful, beautiful dark skin tone, lovely for doing Mediterranean brickwork. You've got opaque white, and of course you've got that lovely natural yellow. If you're going to go for three, I'd go for something a bit different. I'd go for the dark skin, I'd go for the grey, beautiful for shadows, and I'd go for the turquoise if you like those seascapes. Amazing. Well, a great price, as I say, it's sixteen ninety-eight. Choose your three. If you want more than three, you can go in multiples, of course, six, seven, nine, nine, six, seven. Now, something else we always like to tell you about is the SAA membership, and it's no different here tonight. Now, we are going to show you how you can join. I mean, this is just incredible when you see what is on offer here. We will take you to the website in a second to explain exactly how you can do this. I think we've got a few gremlins in the system at the moment, but although there is an item number, you don't actually need that item number as such. You go to the website, there is a link. Go to the description, there will be, I think it's highlighted in red actually, it's a link. If you click on there, it will take you straight over to give you all the details. Matthew, this is just incredible, isn't it? It is, yeah. So this is a year's worth of SIA membership, folks. And what you get in that membership is literally a year's access to this massive online world, this this uh, massive art community. It's the biggest art group in the world, actually. You know, and joining the SAA, being a member, you get so much in this modern world. I've been a member for quite a long time, you know, for years, since the 90s, actually. And now you get all these wonderful goods that you can see on screen. I've got some here just to kind of flick through and show you. So um, one of the big reasons people join the SAA nowadays is that you get this wonderful magazine called Paint. Now, this is a it's shipped direct to your door. So it's part of this membership, it's 45 pound annual fee. You get this magazine, it's full of step-by-step -step articles that come straight to you. People like myself write for these magazines, you know, so it's like a bit of a how-to. Save them, it's a lovely glossy mag. You also get massive discounts on products via the Home Shop catalog, as you can see there. There's a book on watercolors by Jeremy Ford, which is great. You get things like five pounds to spend in the catalog, but you get access to this massive online world of the SAA now, which is what, it's something that 
is kind of new to sort of last year and this is access to the video on demand think of the online streaming services that you get at home the one with the big red n for example well you've got that for painters basically via this membership it's included art video on demand and here's the core thing if you join through her chanda through the link the pink link on the website we're going to give you what we had the brand new brushes that we spoke about a few minutes ago the fantastic brushes so you'll get a free set of these brushes with your membership but only if you join through the link on the Hachanda website not the add to basket okay so if you scroll past that if i'm right in saying this yeah yeah and then you click we on we will the link show we get... can show it now i believe perfect there you go so there yes we scroll are. past all that so and then you'll see the link you certainly um, will find the item scroll down and you will spot the link there it is just click where it says click here obviously and it will take you right through there you can see all of the details there join now that's all you need to click on and of course that's more or less it isn't it what an amazing offer that is as well do you know if, if you want to give that to somebody if you don't you want it for yourself yeah. and you gift it to somebody else that's just incredible isn't it it is and you can buy a gift membership as well same offer applies so it's a great Fabulous. way to keep the artistic juice is flowing it really is oh right back to the one day special of course we are very busy for this as well i am not surprised as soon as i saw the title the colors that we've got here just to go through the details again you are of course getting that exclusive dvd this is brand new you're also getting the five sheets of watercolor i mean this is premium quality you're getting the paints as well absolutely amazing you can see the picture at the side here as well this is what you're going to be, crea be creating from that dvd we've got more to show you from that dvd as well just some little little hints about what you can expect from there almost 20% of the stock has already gone there's a huge saving on this as well and you've got the item number on the screen 400300 lovely stuff oh lots of zeros in that number as well Matthew I can see you're kind of doing an effect there with a card is that the sort of effect you do with those spatulas as well it is yeah so I've used a plastic card there in fact I've used the SA membership card for that but you could <laughs> quite easily use um, the actual palette knife that we've also got in the kit as well and wow. look at that the tree brush in action on screen right now that's the tree brush that we're giving you of course in today's one day special but look at those gorgeous greens that you can see because those greens are mixed to replicate nature we are giving you the green to do the job for this okay these are special colors that you can't just go to an art shop and purchase these are colors that are designed to replicate nature so it's a lovely thing to have and just to have that dvd remember it's only for this one day special once this is gone it's done that's it Amazing. you won't see this again now just before we get to uh, matthew for demonstrations just want to point out as well if you have seen or noticed any of the pictures that we've got around the studio a lot of these that you're seeing behind me here are using the colors and are very similar to the the item that you will actually produce from the dvd as well now we've got something else as well behind here as well can i mention these other brushes as well is that all right while i'm here just they're in my uh, eye line and i know these are very popular brushes as well don't know if we can bring the details up for these these are your blending brushes aren't they your blending blades yeah yeah so these have been on a chander for a while and they sold out last time we had them i think it was maybe the autumn time so great tools making making watercolor that little bit easier because it dries quickly but with these brushes it's a reactivation method you can basically wet the brush and just wash the paint off beautiful tools Amazing. and you'll see these in use a bit later can't wait well 12.99 for those 858707 let's get to demonstration this is the moment we've all been waiting for matthew over to you right okay so i've got a sheet of the watercolor paper the paper that is in the one day special and i just want to make it clear that you get five sheets of this it is premium this is a hundred percent cotton paper and that is a big thing to mention because it makes such a difference having good paper so here we've got cotton 100 percent cotton this is not wood based it's got a beautiful texture what i've done folks is i've stuck it to a board with um just a normal masking tape basically this is a wooden board but any bit of cardboard will do People often ask about the easel. Well, this is just for demonstration purposes. If I'm at home, I'm sat at a table and the paints are just to the side and that's the best way to work. So, ready to go. White paper fear, what are we gonna do? Let's do something colorful using the one day special. And I wanna start off actually by taking some more masking tape and I wanna remove stickiness by rubbing it across there or wiping some of the moisture from the brow. <laughs> and I'm just gonna sort of pop this kind of down across and up 
There's something nice about having a white sheet of paper. It's a buzz having that white sheet of paper and not knowing what's going to happen. So st stick through it to the end, folks, whatever you do. Um, the brush from the One Day Special here, the largest of the tree and texture brushes right here, it's natural hair brush designed for making trees easy. You can see that. And it's a beautiful brush. It just works an absolute treat, it does. Um, it's not just for trees, though. It's also good for painting sky. So I'm going to wet the top section, wet the top section down to the masking tape. Now, because it's cotton paper, you know it's going to be absorbed like a sponge. And what's yeah. going to happen, it's going to stay wet for ages. And that's a bonus when it comes to watercolour because the longer the water hangs around, the more time you've got to paint. So for the background, wet into wet works perfect. I'm going to paint a vignette, like a kind of middle sort of picture. So nice sort of faded edges, lovely technique to do. First colour I'm going to use is a little bit of the actual violet. Now I'm using the tree brush um, from the One Day Special and I'm using it for painting the sky. So I'm going to twist in some of these warm colours, let the paint spread, let it do its thing. I'm actually twisting it. In. It's good for painting clouds, this brush. Now imagine that's just the background. We're talking about bluebells, we're talking about woodlands here. So what we're going to do now is go straight in to the palette and get that nice natural green and we're going to mix it around. The violet, it, Matthew, is that the sort of colour that you would use when you're doing the snow scenes as well? Yeah, it's perfect for the shadows on a winter scene, yeah. absolutely, yeah. So if you like painting snow, which I do, I'm a huge fan. I think I've, I've said that a few times on the shows here, but yeah, I love painting um, snow. It's one of my favourite subjects. And I'm stippling, I'm going to stipple all this green with the tree brush, tree and texture brush. So if you look at the brush, you can see it's gone all nice and spiky. It's all nice okay, and open. Yeah. And... This is a brand new brush from the packet, which means it needs bedding in like a good pair of shoes. <laughs> you need to give it some ammo, okay? And we're going to work this in all the way Straight down. Straight away, the texture that you're achieving there is amazing. Both sides. And because the paper's wet, it's spreading, but that's perfect at this particular stage. It'll grow on us, won't it? It will. So I'll bring it down, down towards the center. And then we'll get this all nicely blocked in. Now, before we went live to air, I did genuinely say to Matthew, what are we going to be painting? Because I get to have a go later. He said, I've no idea yet. No idea. Is that so, still the case, Matthew? It's a bit of modern art at the minute. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the Battle of Waterloo at the minute, can you say? <laughs> Actually, it's upside down. Um, so, just kind of still putting these colours in. Now, remember that there's more colours available than what's in the One Day Special, but the colours in the One Day Special will work really nice. It's amazing you. what you can achieve with just so many it few colours. It is, colors. absolutely, yes. And we do have the pick and mix, of course, available. Matthew did suggest certain colours, but you may have some of those. I don't know. It's entirely up to you. It's any three on the pick and mix for 16 98 Bottom of the screen right now for those. If you want more than three, as long as it's in multiples, you can certainly go for the extras. Now, what I've done here is I've introduced some of the warm sepia into this colour. Now, warm sepia is exactly what it says it is. It's the colour that replicates those old photographs love sepia in fact it's probably a painting we can have a look at a little bit later but to your left is a painting on the wall with some beams coming through some trees and we'll have a look at that later because that's using warm sepia to get that lovely effect of i've got loads of pictures down by my feet as well like Matthew, that you we must show in a little while it's like a gallery loving the set today it's great i know it's fabulous it's, yeah, isn't it's like it? a real proper genuine art gallery love it prices on the pictures and everything here yeah really we, we think it suits you very well this set matthew yeah <laughs> look like very at home here yeah i'm quite happy living here can we pull the bed up in the <laughs> corner so i'm stuck in this in and and i'm doing very gentle little taps this is a big painting now bear in mind that you don't need to paint as large as this of course you don't now i'm going to clean that brush out Yes, a warm sepia, you can do monochromes. Yeah. Just using one colour throughout the entire picture. Lovely way of working. Let's bring in some more of this green. And let's get a little bit more. We're going to do gentle taps. Now the painting's starting to dry. We can see with gentle taps of the brush how it's given individual leaf of a tree. Natural green light, which is included in your one day special, is semi-opaque, which means it can be painted over the top of other colours creating lovely effects for foliage. Now at the minute 
it's all a bit splodgy green. But like I said, folks, it will grow on us. And I love doing the vignettes, working outside the frame as well. Anticipation's off the fun. We were talking just before we went on about the live virtual workshops I've been teaching over the past year or so. And these are just like this, having a white sheet of paper and people just starting out with a white paper and creating amazing pictures. Have a look on the Facebook page, folks, Matthew Palmer Artist, and you'll see um, you know, all I the paintings people, people have been doing. I know people, Matthew, that have attended the, the actual live workshops in the past and now the virtual workshops as well, who've never, ever painted before. And, have, you know, they've posted their pictures because they are so good and everybody it's a can thing achieve. To see. A fantastic result. I don't think I've ever seen or seen a comment or seen an image of something that someone's posted where they've been disappointed. Now everyone goes away with a finished picture and that's the yeah. same for the virtual ones. Get yourself onto one. Watercolour.tv, that's the website. Have a look. There's one on this Sunday actually, believe is it or not. There? there is. That's a coincidence. Oh, I'm at work again. Every the time you do <laughs> these, I'm at work. And it's a blue butterfly <gasps> on flowers. So get yourself oh, booked in. If no. you fancy a, a virtual painting session, on um, Sunday, Sunday the 28th. Butterfly, beautiful. Now, oh. hanging around in the back of the palette, we have one of the palette knives, which is from the um, additional kit. Yeah. And we use this palette knife. The plastic one is better than metal because you've got the flexibility. Yeah. And we're gonna turn these into trees. Think of silver birch trees in the spring woodland. Oh, whoa. Scrape it up. I love this palette knife. This one's been with me for quite a few years now. It never ceases to amaze me when I see you work with these knives and scratch away. But that, I think that, so far, has been the most sort of striking instant reaction that I've seen. Because of the, the thickness of the trunk there, then you've gone into the branches as well. When and you paint in a tree, it doesn't really look much like a tree until you put the trunks on. And the thing is, in the branches, it's like, I kind of compare it to when you paint an animal portrait and you put the eyes in it. These are the eyes of the trees. This is the thing that brings it alive. Does that make sense? It does make sense. Do you know, it's amazing to watch because you've got that instant shadowing, haven't you, where the branches yeah, are? Yeah, because the paint runs back in. Yeah. yeah, absolutely brilliant. And again, this DVD is on for almost two hours, folks, and it's wow, just... what a difference. It's not about just the one painting. It's about all the little individual techniques that you'll pick up through the course of that tuition. And you've got skies, you've got buildings, you've got colour mixing. Um, it's just a great way to learn watercolours and remember it very much is a limited edition. Now what I want to do here, because this is, this is addictive, I always say this is just so nice to do. And it's given us two silver birch trees. Let's slowly take that. the tape away, revealing the base of the woodland. We'll give that some time to dry, we'll come back to it. Okay couple of minutes or so okay. and then we're painting some foreground. Well it looks amazing already doesn't it? Let's have a look at some more paintings as well. The one day special, incredible value because of the savings there but using the colours that you've got in the one day special you can create other pieces of art that look something like this as well because you've got the same colours in there. Isn't that wonderful? Absolutely gorgeous. Do you know, there's one that uh, has really caught my eye. It's the next one I'm going to show you, actually. Because I live in a cottage. This isn't my cottage at all, but I wish it was. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that is wisteria, isn't it? Wisteria, so natural. Um, sorry, intense violet. Perfect for that. that Spot is on. gorgeous. Spot Absolutely on. gorgeous. And then another one, if you're looking at the trees and you're looking at the colours again here, what about this one? Absolutely beautiful. Completely different to anything else we've seen you doing in, at the moment, Matthew. But again, there, using very little in the way of colours, but it looks as though there's a whole array of different paint colours being used. Again, that was one of the paintings that was done during one of these virtual workshops really? that we spoke about. It was, yeah. Oh, and wow. that was actually snowdrops in a woodland. You can see those little white flowers, so beautiful. But again, the colours, the perfect picture because it uses the sepias, it uses the gr uh, greens, and there's the violet is great to mix with the sepia to give you shadows. Beautiful. Amazing. Oh, just, if you've never bought a one day special or anything from Matthew before, make sure you're going for this one. We've got some more inspiration for you as well. Lots of pictures around the studio, but the easiest way is to watch our video. So we're going to show you a little bit more right now.
and I'm holding another one of those paintings that you've just seen on the video here as well. You could create this using, of course, the paints that are in the one day special. This was another virtual workshop, wasn't it? It Matthew? was from two or three weeks back. It was done from people all over the world taking part. Great thing wow. to do again. Colors from the one day special. Absolutely amazing. Let's have another run through that one day special. You could be creating something like that, but of course you will be creating something like this picture here because that's the one that's featured in the DVD, of course. Now the DVD is exclusive. It's a limited edition. It's exclusive to us here at Achanda. Not only are you getting that DVD, which is totally brand new as well and extremely new at that. It was a bit of a a last minute rush for us to even get the packaging in today but we've got those five sheets of paper there as well 100 percent cotton paper you've seen and we've heard this is premium paper matthew would not put his name on there if it wasn't and then of course you're getting those two brushes very important brushes brushes as well the tree brush and also the sable brush as well and we've seen it and we've heard it from matthew you want to give that brush a little bit of abuse it gets better and better as you work with it as well now you have got that saving there but don't forget let me just bring in let me just pick up this up again I don't want to get my fingers in those paints but these are the paints that you're getting in the one day special if I just bring this over to the picture so you can see it's just those three paints that have been used to create this whole picture you wouldn't believe it would you if you didn't see it in front of your eyes and didn't see Matthew working with these in the studio you would never believe it 37.99 is the price 27.32 is your saving 400300 now another reminder about the SAA as well do have a think about this one become a member there's so many reasons why I think you should do that let's have another look on the website and find out how you do that of course find the page the item number is there, but you don't really need that. Once you've found the item, you just scroll down, find the link. You can see it highlighted there, or it's there in red for you. Click here. You can see it takes you through to the page. That's just popping up for us. And of course, you can see the join now. There it is. Everything's linked, ready to go. You get those fantas fantastic brushes as well. A set of three. This is only through a chanda. If you join any other way, you won't get those. This is through the link through a chanda, of course. So many reasons, as we heard earlier from Matthew, why to join. And if you want to gift this as a membership as well, you can do that. Well, Matthew. Are we dry enough to continue with that? We are, yes. So Wonderful. I want to paint in some uh, nice kind of foreground. And we'll do a little bit of bluebell here as well, you know, and just kind of bring a bit of everything together here. Um, so using the same brush, just going to have a little bit of a clean up of the palette here. Oh, we do have that palette available as well. If you haven't That's got one yet. That's a good yet? thing to mention because this is an easy clean palette, you see. So <laughs> there they you are go. perfect. Perfect. There you yeah. go. The easy perfect clean job. watercolour palette for just 9 95 Saving on that as well. 936824. It was a great experience to be able to design a palette. And you can see here that it's got um, areas to squirt your paint. It's got a beautiful silicon based coating on it as well. Um, and the paint stays fresh, but you lift and mix blending areas and it just wipes clean so easy to wipe clean okay we have the um, brush again just using the one brush here we're going to use the violet which we have look at that color instant pop it just oh, comes it's alive amazing. it's beautiful color it's called intense violet for a reason um, lovely for doing the bluebells again you mentioned it's good for doing snow scenes great for nighttime skies lovely also for shadows now I'm going to use that color pretty much on its own at this point and I'm going to go straight in now because the tree brush that we're giving in the one day special the large one um, I think it's around 11 12 pounds just for the brush if, if I'm right in saying this but it's natural hair so if you if you run it in the palette on both sides it, it groups together can you say it's gone nice and compact which means it's quite easy that brush Matthew individually is actually 13 pounds and 50 pence there you go you see I've not mm -hmm. done my own work have I <laughs> so We'll bring this one in here and bring it across like so. Quick clean of brush and we'll grab here a very popular brush. It was, it's a brush I designed for obviously for trees, but so useful for other things as well. Let's kind of weave it in between some of these areas. Now that looks all a bit abstract, but we'll clean the brush really well on the tissue. And then we're going to sort of blend it all together here, get the violet blending with the, the green. Scrubbing it against the paper, the cotton paper holds the moisture, as we've mentioned, which means that your paint stays fresh for absolutely ages. So and it's how a great wet way is your brush there, Matthew? I'm giving it a couple of taps on tissue, um, okay. to be honest. So it's, it's damp. Yeah. It's damp, yeah? Moist, that sounds better. Okay. It's moist. Is it me or is it moist? It's a moist brush. We'll bring it in. 
And then I want to hit more violet down here in the foreground. Stronger with the violet as well. Now, like I say, I'm working not all the way to the edge here because I like to do this on the painters. I think it suits it. So a little bit of, a little bit of blending. Beautiful. Now, while that's having some time to dry, we're going to pick up the other brush that's in the One Day Special, which is that gorgeous rigger. We can see it here. Size two. It's an imitation sable rig, a beautiful point on this. Most rigger brushes are very square at the tip. This one's pointy. A rigger brush was called this because it was originally for painting rigging on boats, but for this particular um, use and the most popular use of it is obviously for things like trees, branches, fence posts. Warm sepia, which is great for doing monochromes, gorgeous monochrome colour. In this picture, it's lovely for doing some trees. So we'll bring it in. And I'm just going to do some darker trees, basically. Let's paint this in here. Bringing it down. And because it's a long brush, it holds a fair bit of colour, so you can really get nice, nice branches coming in here. You really can get very fine detail, can't you, with that? Yeah. My advice to anyone using a rigger brush like this is use the tip of it on the paper rather than the whole brush and hold the brush like a pen. Can you see I'm, okay, I'm holding yeah. it like I'm writing rather yeah. than painting? Because naturally people want to do this with a paintbrush and you can't control the pressure. But if you hold it there and rest on your paper, because watercolour dries okay. pretty quickly, so it's quite easy to do. I now I like to rotate the board around as well because I'm, I'm right-handed, so to paint the right-handed tree, excellent, but to get around that side, I tend to just do that. Oh. Does that cause chaos, maybe in this? It's not cause too much chaos. <laughs> They're rotating it on the side, does it? Bring it forward so the light's not reflecting. And you can see I can pop some branches over this side as well. It's just easier, it's just easier. Rotate it around. And you can see I'm putting these nice little sort of branches. It's a perfect colour, is warm sepia for trees. It really is, isn't it? That's I'm lovely. just going to mention something else as well, Matthew, that I always like to sort of bring into the show. For anybody that hasn't seen Matthew before, and there will be some people that have joined us for the first time, I'm sure, today. Matthew works from an easel for demonstration purposes, but at home you don't need that easel, do you? You can work no, no, this flat is just on a for table. demo. Yeah, this is just purely for demo. I mean, it's just easier. And because I spend a big chunk of my life actually, you know, sort of demonstrating places like here and shows and workshops, etc. It's easier for people to see this, but if I was sat at home working, I'd be sat at a table, with, or even on my knee. Yeah. Oh, when yeah. I'm outside painting, I just have a little, you know, folding chair, and uh, using a nice, you know, little camping table at the side, and then just use my knee. I mean, that's how I work outside. Have you managed to work outside yet this year? Um, not since 2000 and. Um, 19 of our painted outside because obviously COVID put a stop to all the not paint. Not even for yourself in your garden or uh, No, not necessarily. Although, actually, yes, I did paint a picture of the local castle where I live. Oh. So, yes, I did, actually, because I can see that from the house. So I did actually do that, yes. But, but hoping to get to the Bluebell Woods in May to do some painting. Oh, how and that'll be that probably be. a live Facebook <gasps> thing. So make oh, sure you get on the fantastic. Facebook page, everybody. Matthew Palmer, artist. And we'll turn that about the right way. Beautiful tree. That is stunning. Love that colour. Just going to put in a little yeah. bit of detail around here. So, can you see I've painted another tree just to the side of this? Yeah. And it doesn't have to be anything fancy, even just a few little flicks. It leads you into the wood, okay? It does, doesn't it? Yeah. So it's just a flick of the brush, you know? Um, and to give some kind of scale, I love this brush, it's so nice and easy to work with. If we painted in the likes of a little bit of a gateway, other supermarkets are also available. <laughs> Can you see that little uh, gateway there? You know, doesn't that make a difference as well? It gives that a bit really of scale, doesn't it? It really does, yeah. It gives a bit of scale. And then I'm gonna come back to the, the tree brush and the violet. Let's get some good violet here. I can't stop looking at those trees you scrape with the palette knife, you know. I'm just absolutely amazed by that. It's a big feature of the picture, isn't it? It really is. 
let's stipple in some darker bluebells. So I'm putting a fair bit of pressure on there, but it's doing the job for me. It's really, it's a really effective way of doing it. Just basically stipple it. That's quite satisfying. <laughs> I like that. I'll do that more often. If you ever get stressed, stipple on your hand, and then scrape off some trees. Look at that. It's all getting a bit weird in the Achanda studio this evening. Oh. Let's, let's put some little stipples down here. So <laughs> just imagine the foreground. It's been a long day today, so I'm relaxing with a bit of paint on a bit of paper. <laughs> let's, let's bring this down here. So a few little stipples around. Now in a second, we'll blend all this in. And we're going to create a bit of an edge. I love this brush. The tree brushes for thousands and thousands of artists have become an essential part of paint. Yeah, it's like having why. a normal round paintbrush. It's yeah. just it's just essential. And I was the person that kind of designed them and brought them to market, um, working with the guys at the SAA. But if you look at the brush, you can see it's got a slope on it. Can we see the slope? It's got a slope, okay, which means yeah. that you can turn the brush upside down oh, and you can get yeah, smaller, yeah. cleaner edges. So you can almost create a bit of an edge. Do you think this brush then has enabled people that maybe did struggle in some areas to, you know, really sort of get on top of something that they were struggling with before? Absolutely. It's made such a difference to people's painting lives, yeah, having these brushes. And all the brushes we bring out, like the Fantastics and the Blending Blades, have all made a difference. I, mean, I get so many nice emails and messages from people, you know, saying how much it's, it's changed their life. And that's never been more so than the past year because everyone's been yeah, kind of stuck in and, and some people's obviously been in you know Matthew I can't believe this is again how this is coming to live before our eyes just the stippling there those little bells but it's really adding sort of the uh, the, the depth of the land there, it's almost as though you've got that pathway now you've got the little slopes at the side with the blue bells it's really giving that perspective absolutely stunning yeah and just to finish it off, I'm just going to pop in a little bit of um, the sepia just around the edge of the footpath, just to give a bit of added shape, if you like, to it. So almost kind of tidy up the edges, so you can see where it kind of zigzags through. A little bit over here as well. It just helps to give a bit of interest to it. Oh, you just want to walk towards that gate and go through it and see what's on the other side now. And I'm just going to very quickly come back to this uh, tree bush again and then pick up the green again. And then I want to shoot up to the top and pop some leaf over the top, some darker leaf over the top of the tree we've just painted. Because it's oh, opaque, nice. it stands out nice. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah? yeah. So basically working over the top and because it is opaque, oh, you wow, can see it stands out against the actual tree itself, which is really nice. And it makes a lovely effect. And even in the foreground, just to, we mentioned using the brush upside down. Um, if the writing on the brush is facing down, you get the tall hairs. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Which means it's very easy to do little blades of, oh. little bits of grass around some of these wow. edges or the stems for the flowers or whatever you want to call them basically and it just makes an interesting little bit of extra detail and of course then you can use it for stippling on the actual picture to get some extra detail in and so on and I think oh, if you take the masking oh. tape away I okay. think we've got a nice quick um, bluebell picture but again wow. on the DVD that we're giving you it's got almost a two hours worth of bluebells with so 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 much more detail uh, buildings, skies, gorgeous trees, highlights, it's all there for you folks. It's a great that little kit. That is just amazing, isn't it? Oh, we're blown away again here in the studio, we seriously are. You saw it before your eyes as well, only three colours, the three colours that you do get in the one day special, over 20% of the stock has gone. Of course when it comes to the DVD, it is exclusive to Achanda, you can see the picture at the side here. This is what you will be creating following the tutorial on the DVD itself, but then of course that's going to lend itself to so many other beautiful pictures that you're going to paint. It could be cards, it could be whole pictures, it could be, I don't know, maybe you've just got a little journal or something you want to do some practice in there as well. You're going to use these.
If you miss the workshops, if you can't get out, well, you can't, can you, at the moment? You can't get out. We can't do those workshops at the moment. This is great because you've got Matthew there in your own living room or wherever you've got your DVD player and you can be crafting along. Let's just go through again. So you've got the five sheets of the watercolour. This is 100% cotton, of course. You've got those two brushes that we've just seen being used by Matthew, that fantastic brush, that tree brush there. And then, of course, what was originally known as the rigger brush, that sable brush there, or that synthetic sable, I should say because it's not real sable but it does the job so perfectly then of course you've got the three paints as well the th only three paints that you are going to need throughout the whole of that dvd you're saving 27 pounds and 32 pence 37.99 you're going to, this is going to go so much further than that one picture, isn't it? 400300. Now, we'll remind you about the other items we've got as well, because, of course, we do have the fantastic brush set. Brush, brush set. And this one, of course, also comes with a DVD. This was available in a previous one-day special, and it did sell out. It absolutely flew out. Do not miss out on these. These are very special brushes. £31.99. There's an £8.06 saving, and all you need is item number 9155. Seven, three. Then, now this is a really good buy. We've seen, haven't we, how you can achieve those tree trunks, that, that detail, using one of the palette knives, but this is much more than that. You've got the palette knives, but you've got the masking fluid as well. And because it's that blue, you can see where you're painting that onto your picture. You just rub that way with your finger, so it does mask off those areas where you want to keep that freshness of the paper. You've got the, your schmink in there as well. I hope I said that right. And you've got those three very special brushes in there as well. These are for applying the masking fluid fluid there's something very special about the bristles on these so that that fluid doesn't stick because you will ruin your your other brushes your your best painting brushes don't use those use these 19.99 is the price you've got a 558 saving there a great buy it's been busy on this one as well 341879 is the item number now you may want to go for some more paints and you can certainly do that because we do have a pick and mix now it's a, cho a choice of any three here matthew did tell us what he thought would be a good suggestion do you want to remind us again matthew those three yeah so if you're going for the one day special you've obviously got three colors add three more from here go for the gray which is shadow just just absolutely spot on color Dark skin tones, lovely for Mediterranean colours, brickwork on buildings, terracotta plant pots, and the uh, turquoise, which is nice for seascapes. Or if you're not in seascapes, go for the natural yellow, which is a sandstone colour for beaches, brickwork, lovely. that kind of thing. Well, you can go for more than three if you wish, as long as it's multiples of three, but for any three, 1698 679 967. Now, what's something else I think we want to tell you about as well? Let's have a look at this next item because we didn't mention this earlier on, did we? We've got the Take Three Colours. This is a watercolour mountains book. You get the DVD as well. Now, great saving on this one. I'm just going to, I don't want to take any time up from Matthew, but I'm just going to open a couple of pages of the book so you can see the sort of thing that's in here as well. So a great price at 18 59 Again, all of this, 271 506 is the item number. Now we are going to, uh, oh, don't forget you do get the DVD in there as well. I don't know how long that one is, Matthew. Do you know roughly sort of the time on that so, one? So yeah, so that DVD, it's around about 90 minutes and you get uh, three projects, two from the book plus one that's not in the book. There's Amazing. Nine, nine projects in the book, all using three colours and three brushes. Fabulous. You can see those three colours on the front there, actually. 271506. Let's have another reminder of the SAA. Of course, if you're joining through a Chanda, you will get that free gift of the fantastic brushes as well. If you want to gift, you can also gift. Just scroll down through the description, find where it's there. it says click here for the SAA membership. If you click on there, that will take you through to another link and then just simply click on join now. That's for a whole year as well, a whole year. Do you know, well worth looking at that. Right, now there's something rather exciting about to happen. Ooh, I think. Uh, but before that, I've got to tell you, almost a quarter of the one day special has already gone. This is the launch show, remember. Do make sure you check those baskets out. Don't miss out on this. I'm quite nervous now. You know the white fear that you talk of, Matthew? You can smell the excitement, to be fair. I am really excited, or is, or is but I do fear? have the That's white the fear. fear at the moment. It's the fear. Um, well, I'm going to go to the pub, you can paint that. <laughs> oh, actually, the pubs are closed, so forget that. I'll paint a picture with you, shall I? <laughs> so let's get rid of that one then, and then okay. we'll bring in here. So what I've done here, folks, and this is not a bad thing if you're a beginner, um, to have a sheet of watercolour paper that is half the size of what we've got. Now, I'm not saying you're a beginner, but it's a good well, size. Well, I am. It's a good <laughs> size to work on. Um, 
first thing I want to do is I want to do a similar thing to what we've just done, actually. Okay. And I want to take some masking tape. Yours is kind of stuck to the front of the easel. Oh, I see. Um, yep. There you go. And basically, just sort of stick it to your fingers a few times just to remove the stickiness. Okay. And a, a couple of inches up the paper, just kind of press it down, press okay. it across. So we're not sort of curving this at all? No, we'll just go kind for a, a little... nice clean horizon and we're going to paint in okay. a bit of an evening sky um, with the large tree and texture brush. So if you okay. give it a good rinse. Mine's on a bit more of a slant than yours, does it matter? Um, no, it's okay, that's called an, art, an artistic slant. It's Is fine, it? it works for me. It works for me. So if you pick up the tree brush... I'm it, being asked in the gallery, how did I manage to do it that wonky? I did it on purpose. It's a good start. It was meant to be wonky. It's, a it's good an start. artistic slant. It's a good start. Let's wet. OK, which brush have you got it's there? It's the big tree brush. Big tree brush. Yeah, let's just give it a rinse and give it a uh, wet the piece of paper. You can't go wrong with this. Do you know, I was going to change the artistic slant, but now, to spite the gallery, I'm leaving it exactly where it is. I think will come out better than this one. <laughs> so if you, wet the, if you wet the sheet of paper, wet it all the way down. Just using a good <laughs> bit of water. A couple of times because it's cotton paper, remember? OK. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring in just a little bit of the violet. A little bit now of violet. Now you're matching here, aren't you? You've got matching outfit. Uh, pure coincidence. I had no idea what we were doing. And I thought it was scripted. What we'll do is we'll go for the violet, OK? So if you sort of tap off the excess on the side of the sort of water pot a little bit, shake the drips off, then we'll take, no comment, what we'll do is we'll take the, we'll take the <laughs> violet, we'll, we'll take the violet and we'll mix it in to the middle of the palette, not too strong. A little bit more on yours, so I think. A bit more? Yeah. Did I not get enough of those drips off? Is that the problem? I think there was too many shakes, maybe. Oh, too well, not many? Not enough shakes, possibly. And then we'll go to the top, and what we'll do is we'll put a line of this across. Now, that's a sign. <laughs> that's a sign of a good paper, because it stays put. OK, I'm really across scared now, Matthew. I am, I can smell it. What you do is... <laughs> 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 and we'll bring it down. We'll bring it down. OK. Backwards and and we'll just backwards. basically leave a few little white bits here and there to give some, some cloud. That's it. Okay. Keep going. Keep and going. eventually... Your brush should start to run out of colour. Is that right? Well, keep yes. going. Keep going. Yeah, I've keep gone going. I've a bit further than you. Is that that's all right? right? Yeah, keep going until right. you run out of space. Okay. And that's like a good nighttime sky. Now, at this point, if you had a coin wrapped in tissue, you could give it a stamp and you get the moon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You got to paint your hand as well, I mean. <laughs> and what we'll do is we'll, we'll clean the brush. I might do a better job on my hand. You never yeah. know. Clean, clean the, brush. the brush. Clean the brush. Give it a good old stir around. Wipe off the excess. Shake off the drips again. There you go. <laughs> then we'll go into the uh, light green and we'll take a good thick blob of that green. Okay. A good thick blob. Thick, right. Oh, so we've got six minutes see. left, Matthew. Where's the time gone? S 60 minutes. We could do a masterpiece <laughs> in 60 minutes. Six <laughs> oh, six minutes. Mix it around. Mix it around. Okay. So it's going slow, this show. Mix it around. Yep. And give it a good stipple. Make sure the paint's nice and thick at this point. Give it a good squash. It's called bashing the brush. Is it? Yeah. Bash the brush. Oh, you're being more aggressive, apparently. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you take a look at your brush, have you bashed it? You can see it's got a bit of a... I don't think I've bashed it enough. Bit of a slope <laughs> on the side. <laughs> is it after watershed yet? And what we'll do is we'll, we'll stipple some trees. Yeah. So we'll do <laughs> use the flat part of the brush, this part of the brush. Right, okay. And we'll stipple nice and gently. This is scary. About halfway up. Imagine the shapes of the trees. Oh, you're going right across. Right across. Imagine it's like a caterpillar going across your picture. You see what I mean by that? Like a bit of a wiggly sort of line kind of thing. And then stipple it down all the way to the bottom. The thicker the better with the paint at this point. And you basically fill that section in. I filled all my corner in. Are you, are you going to fill your corner? Yeah, I want to in fill it you? in, yeah. Oh, phew. There you go. There you go. We've got two filled corners. And you okay. can see there. Oh, for a minute, I thought that was yours on the screen and it's mine. <laughs> there you are, you see? You've really impressed yourself. <laughs> Perfect. Well, now, oh, you've really once you've that. kind of filled it in, don't clean your brush. Go straight in, straight in to the brown, the warm sepia. 
take a little bit, not a huge amount, and mix it in with the green so you get darker. Okay. It turns the green almost like an olive green, lovely for trees, lovely oh, for love olive sort green. of foliage, that kind of thing. So mix it into the green so it yeah. goes quite a bit darker. And again, give it a good old stipple. And this time we'll start at the bottom, we'll start right on the tape edge and we'll stipple along the tape edge like so. And you're sort of painting like shadows, if you like, in the trees. Adding some darkness, adding some darkness. Oh, can we stop the clock, please? It's going too fast. We haven't got long left, Matthew. You keep stepping that darkness in, yeah? A bit more. Just ever so gently. And then gently. slightly work up towards the top. But sort of ease off the pressure as you go higher. Okay. So it gets a little bit lighter. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it gives you like more of an individual. But it puts like layers, and that's a very similar technique to what we've just done. And then hopefully on your um, bedside cabinet that you've got <laughs> down there, which is <laughs> your little painting box, um, we've got a plastic card. I've actually got an SAA membership card. I'm going to use that. And just as we did on the previous picture, we're going to take this and have a good old scrape of some branches. Oh, I've got to do this, I've got to do this. You can do your palette knife. And the thicker the paint, the better at this point, yeah? So just basically use the corner of the knife. This, this corner? Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Okay. Use the point of it and just go up and then scrape away some of the branches and it'll just lift the colour off. Is it I don't working think I'm scraping you? hard enough. <laughs> Oh, that's better. <laughs> you have plenty of pressure, yeah. Don't be afraid to... Uh... There. Let me look at yours, Matthew. OK. Right. It depends Maybe. how wet or dry the paint is, really. Oh, we've got less than two minutes left. I've got to, I've got to say, I'm not blaming any tools or anything, because the tools are great. It, I'm not so great, but I am stood at a very strange angle to how I would if I was doing this Why don't you this lift normally. your board up and sort of... Uh, yeah, that, I'm not so happy about the main trunk. I think it's a little bit... But let me look at yours, Matthew. Look how easy you make it look. If you take the tape off, you can see it leaves that nice clean edge, you see. We've got to say, Matthew, actually, that for anyone that doesn't know, that you are self-taught. Yes, yeah. I started painting when I were a little sprog in nappies. I still am. Long story. <laughs> we'll talk about that another day. <laughs> Um, oh, we've got just over a minute left. Oh, I'm not very good at the scraping there. Perfect. No, it's good. It's good. It works well. But it's just nice that you can create... I mean, trees used to baffle me. If I go back many, many years, summer trees I found very difficult. But now, when I got the chance to design my own brushes, that was the thing that really made the difference, you know, and having tools that make all the challenges that I came across as a learning artist, having these tools then would have been such a massive thing you know but obviously they were not around but now oh i've got to stop i'm gonna to get told off otherwise can i pull the tape off as nice well nice and can steady I do that? nice and steady nice and steady right as Bowling i'm carefully, just doing Thomas. this and doing the big reveal back at eight o'clock of course alex and matthew will be here do you know i quite like that slant is it grown on you that looks all right it's good it's good i really enjoyed that well do you know what seriously look at that i'm i'm well pleased with that actually you should be Oh, what a lovely hour. It really was. Check those baskets out. Don't forget, of course, we've got lots of goodies for you. Go for some extra paints as well. Matthew, see you at eight. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming up by again later.